Okay, hello there. Today we're making chicken enchiladas. Uh, I've already got the chicken in there and I filled the pot with water, my old pot. And then uh, basically turn it up to high because you want to bring it to a boil. And once you get it to a boil, then you can start simmering. Okay, now it's time to add the spices. Add a little bit of salt. Pepper, I think I need some WD-40 on my pepper. Add a little bit of chili powder. I need to actually add quite a bit because, you know, this is going to boil down. A little bit of paprika. bit of garlic. That's a garlic powder. But you can use fresh garlic, whatever you want. And the main ingredient. And I'm just going to take the lid off of this one. So Like I said, we just bring it to a boil, and uh, once it gets to a boil, then we drop the temperature down and let it simmer, and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got our chicken simmering. Basically, you just want to maintain the heat and let it simmer for a while, and just check on it periodically, and I'll come back for the next step. Okay, we've been simmering a while, now the chicken's pretty much cooked, so once it's cooked, you know, I kind of just kind of start breaking it apart with my spoon there, just so it'll cook a little faster. And we're just going to keep cooking it until it's pretty much shredded. Here in a minute I'm going to show you how to make the sour cream sauce and it is amazing. So you don't want to miss that. So stay tuned here. And there's Pepper patiently waiting. Search around on the floor make sure I didn't drop anything. Okay so basically right now I just got me some chicken stock. And I'm bringing it to a boil. If you want to, you can use, uh, you know, canned chicken stock or whatever. Just buy the chicken stock. I'm just using bouillon cubes. Okay, we brought our uh, chicken stock to a boil. Now I just add my little roux, which is just uh, vegetable and flour. If you need to know how to make that, you can look up my uh, cooking cream gravy the wrong way video, and I'll show you how to make that roux. Basically, you just uh, thicken this up. Now you want it to get kind of kind of thick because we're going to add some stuff to it. It'll probably thin it out when when we add the other stuff. Maybe just a little bit more. Now if you get it it's way too thick or whatever, you can always add just a little bit of water, thin it back out. It won't hurt the flavor any. Now we've got our gravy thickened. Now I just add a thing of sour cream. Now I broke my... Hey, this is real life, folks. I just broke my spatula. Keeping it real. And I just stir that sour cream in there a little bit. And, yep, that's right, I'm going to use a can. I just get the can of the green chili enchilada sauce. And I'm using mild. You can, If you want a little hotter, you can use the hotter. Right 
actually going to use two cans. Obviously, I'm making enough for an army here, so you can cut this recipe in half. Now I got a little too thick, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water and thin it out a little bit. There we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Enchilada sauce, and it is amazing. Okay. We're just about done. You see how it's, uh, you know, simmering and the meat's starting to shred like that? It's almost done, but we want to pretty much just uh, evaporate all that water out of there so it'll be pretty much dry. Now, if it gets too dry and, you're, and your chicken's not shredding like that yet, then you need to add a little bit more water and just uh, keep simmering it until it's ready. Just add a little bit at a time. Now, I'll be back to show you when it's done. Okay, our chicken is uh, shredded, and there might be a little bit of water left in there, but a little bit is not going to hurt anything. I wish you could smell this. It smells good. All right, let's see if Pepper approves. I think he approves. Okay, now that our chicken is cooked, let's get you a tortilla. Get you a little bit of chicken. I mean, I'm sure this is pretty well self-explanatory, but we're gonna do it anyway. And put in some cheese and roll it up. Grab me another tortilla and some chicken. You know, you can add less or more, or more cheese or less chicken or however you want to do it. There's no wrong way to do it. Some cheese. Roll it up. I usually like to pack them in there tight. And I'll be back for the next step as soon as I get all these rolled. Okay, well, now I got them all rolled. So then you just pour your sauce over the top. Once I get them all rolled, I usually just kind of move them around and make sure we get some sauce underneath and on the sides. And then once I do that, just pour a little bit more sauce, make sure they're all covered up. And just add some cheese to the top. Once you got that done, you just stick them in the oven. I got the oven set at 350, and you just let them cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Well, it's been 15 minutes. I pulled them out of the oven, and man, do they look good. Well, there you have it. Chicken enchiladas with sour cream sauce. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like and subscribe, and always remember to keep it simple.